consider a solution for a new type of Cloudflare capture. On the demo page of the 2Captcha service, there are various types of captures, including the Cloudflare capture. This is what this capture looks like, and it can be solved automatically without your participation. But we do not need this at the moment, so we will change the browser settings to demonstrate the operation of the 2Captcha service API. Now let's consider the process of automating the solution of this capture. In the GitHub service, at 2 capture 2 capture php you will find a set of scripts for solving all types of captures using the API. The page also contains instructions for installing and configuring scripts, descriptions of parameter sets, and other necessary information for developers. We need to download all these files and folders as an archive. And for these scripts to work, you need to download and install the software package for deploying a local server. I did this ahead of time, and I won't be showing this simple process in this video. In the root folder on the local server, you will see all the folders and files downloaded from GitHub. Code examples for various types of capture are located in the examples folder. There is also the turnstile.php file you need. It will need to be modified. To do this, you need to specify the API key, which you can find on the main page of the 2Captcha service. Copy it and paste it. Also in this file, it is necessary to transfer the constant capture parameter, site key to the 2Captcha service. You must take this parameter from the page on which the captcha is located in the HTML code of this page. You need to find a script that sends capture data from the source site. Copy and paste this character set. Also, the file must contain the URL of the page on which the captcha is played. The file is now modified and ready to go. Run the turnstile.php file on our local server. Solving the CAPTCHA will take a few seconds, but for now we will open the field for entering the results of solving the CAPTCHA on the page where it is played. To do this, we find and remove the hidden value from the parameter of this field in the page code. Now we see this field on the page, and we can add the result of the CAPTCHA solution to it. Check if the CAPTCHA is solved. The solution is already there. Copy the value and paste it into the field on the page where the CAPTCHA is located. CAPTCHA solved successfully.